A new drug could be a game changer when it comes to treating menopause. A lot of people talking about this. Jennifer Waugh sat down with a doctor to learn more about the science behind the drug called Vioza. A new drug meant to treat one of the most common symptoms of menopause will soon be available over the counter. The FDA has approved a once a day pill that treats hot flashes. It will be sold under the brand name Vioza. It's expected to be in pharmacies within three weeks. OBGYN Dr. Sunny Kimashi with HCA Florida Memorial Hospital is joining us via Zoom this morning. Good morning, Doc. Thanks for being here. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me. So would you explain, uh, should what should, uh, you know, uh, women consider before going and buying a drug over the counter like this? Sure. Actually, this, um, the hot flash is one of the most common reasons that I see for perimenopausal patients other than irregular heavy menses. Um, so you need to change your lifestyle, you know, behavioral changes for the hot flashes. Um, cooling blanket, layered clothes, over-the-counter supplement. But if your hot flesh is um, affecting you, the quality of your life, then you need to get on the medication with uh, doctor's guidance. So this is really not for the person who has this, a woman who's kind of, you know, having maybe one or two hot flashes. This is for someone who it's really impacting how they sleep at night and, and as you mentioned, the quality of their life. Yes, definitely. Because this medication has a pros and cons as well, just like any medication. So if you can handle hot flashes with um, other method, I would try to uh, get those done first. Yes. You, you mentioned pros and cons. Are there any side effects? Yes. So just like any medication, so you can cause a headache and some Actually, the one of the side effect profile is a half flashes because of how it works is it works on the neurotrans the, the receptors in our brain that regulates the body temperature. So it can cause some half flashes as well as a side effect and the abdominal pain, diarrhea, and back pain. So uh, it's interesting because uh, you, you're kind of explaining how menopause happens. How does this? work this drug because it, it, it involves, you know, what goes on in the brain. <laughs> so the menopause is all the symptoms are caused by the estrogen and progesterone drop in our bloodstream. But this medication is very unique uh, because it blocks on the neurotransmitter receptor, which is called the neurokinin receptor three. So that's the receptor that controls the body temperature in our brain. So it's a very, very unique medication. So I, I know that non-hormonal. That's right. a, I want to add one more thing. Non-hormonal, uh, and, yes. and that's important uh, because there are some people who, some women who can't take uh, drugs that have hormones in them. So a menopause is, as we know, a normal part of people as uh, you know, for women as they get older. Uh, uh, is there a general age that this happens for our viewers who are sitting here wondering, okay, when is this going to happen to me? <laughs> I remember my first AARP magazine in my mailbox. So, <laughs> so the menopause is that by definition, it's not a hormonal diagnosis. If you have a no period whatsoever for 12 months in a row, that is considered as a menopause. The average age of that is about 51. Yes, between 50 and 52. But it can happen earlier, it can happen later. And how long does it typically last? <laughs> so that's what the perimenopausal changes we're talking about. So usually on an average of about seven years, but I've seen patients going through 14 years or no, no problem whatsoever. It all depends on your lifestyle, smoking habit, the body weight, and the genetic component. So uh, a woman who would take this medication then would only have to take it then as long as the symptoms last. They don't have to take it forever? Absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a once a day pill. And very interestingly, you have to take it every single day at the same time of each day. Dr. Kimashi, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.